Yep. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and I quickly want to show you how you can integrate uh, Microsoft Windows servers um, to Fortisim so for monitoring sake to collect security logs uh, for the device uh, in terms of performance of the device uh, resource utilization and other logs that needs to be generated uh, from the Windows server using WMI protocol which we are configuring as well so the first step for us is to create a user that belongs to uh, the domain and the or the local uh, administrator group so we need to head to the domain controller and also go straight to create the users in the uh, Active Directory users and computer. So come here under the group and just create a user uh, for the account. Then uh, create new and create new user. So here, yeah, let's name, name it. Uh, uh, what's F? F uh, FSM two. So then I use FSM two and um, click next. Uh, so put users. Uh, this camera expire and set your set your password. Then click next and uh, finish. So the next thing is to add the user to the uh, admin to the admin domain admin group, which is here. So right click and uh, go to properties and under members add a new member. Then click FSM two check. Then click OK. Then apply and OK. So if we've already successfully created the user and added it to the domain group, the next step is to enable the Chrome's permissions for the new user we just created. So we will straight to tools, tools, and we we'll go to component services. Then uh, double click this and right click and go to properties then click on the concept security so under com security uh we edit limits we had the user fsm2 okay so under here, we also check this for her. Then next thing is to edit defaults. And under defaults, we need to ensure that we had the, the user here as well. And check for the name. Okay. Click this and click OK. Uh, see under default. So uh, primarily we need to add these two performance monitor and distributor, uh, distributed com um, users. The way to go about it um, is to add and uh, click on advanced and find now. Then um, you know look for the distributed com users. I click OK. Then click OK and ensure these um, services are allowed as well. We need to also add this performance monitor. Just click Add, um, you know, Advanced, and also Find Now and search for the performance monitor uh, users. Click OK click OK, then 
allow these these two services and click OK. So we want to um, edit limit as also add some services. So had the user um, here as well, uh, FSM. So check names. Okay, then for this, ensure the services are enabled. And click OK. I'll still go back to edit limit. Then we need to add the performance um, performance users and distributor chrome so the way to do that is to add um, advanced find now then you no know, look for the distributed chrome users then click ok click ok then ensure that all the services are also enabled so okay let's edit defaults so under default let's add the um the tool as well add fsm check for names so ensure this service is enabled click ok then uh still go back add distributed comms good for um advanced fine now then Um, and click OK. Click OK. Ensure the services are also checked. You need to also ensure performance monitor is also um, added. The way to add that is to uh, add advanced, find now, and uh, performance monitor users. Click it and click OK. Um, OK, and ensure these are also enabled. So if you have this, you see all the services are enabled. And uh, we click OK. Apply. And OK. Then the next step is enable account privileges uh, in the WMI for the new users. So the way to go about that is to go to under tools, um, computer management, then services, click on the services, uh, WMI control. Uh, so double click the uh, WMI control, then right click on it. And click on properties. Then go to security. And uh, drop down. Go to uh, CIM version 2. Under this, click on the CIM version 2. And click on security. Then we can also add new users to the authenticated uh, user group. So check for the FSM uh, for the new user as well. Click OK. And um, allow, uh, enable remote, uh, remote enabled services. Then click on advanced. Under this tool, I'll click on edit users and also ensure you have this namespace and subspaces and this is clear click ok and apply click ok apply click ok click ok then go to services and look for the uh, win Windows uh, management instrumentation. And uh, we start it. Okay. 
Then the next step is to allow um, WMI through uh, the, the uh, Windows firewall. So for this, you can go to control panels, uh, control panel, then uh, system security, uh, Windows event, allow and have true Windows uh, Defender. We want to ensure that the, the uh, Windows uh, Windows management instrumentation are all checked. Then this just to confirm, then click OK. Then the next thing is to set access credential on Fortisim. So on Fortisim, um, let's open the Fortisim GUI. So go straight to under when you get to the dashboard, um, go to go to admin and under credential, let's create new credential, name it when when uh when uh, nineteen or when twenty nineteen AD then uh, for this a device type let's select uh Windows Server twenty nineteen then we can select OMI and um let's leave it the domain name is um, in capital letter cyber point then the username is the FSM tool that we created and the password. Let's confirm password. Then click save. Then let's enter the IP address range. Let's just enter the IP address of, uh, of the Windows server we are creating, which is this. Then uh, next thing is to is to test. So we can test this. Let's test connectivity without pinging. So this is succeeded. So let's change this back to the WMI that we configured. Save. Then let's test again. Yeah, this is working, okay. So the next thing is to um, discover, the next thing is to discover and had, uh, the next thing is to discover the Windows servers on the photo scene. So from the discovery uh, pane, Let's add new uh, Windows in 2019 AD. Then uh, let's scan, let's just add the IP address, then dot 15, dot 13, dot 200. Then, um, Let's include all, exclude none. So let's save. Then we can now discover, try to discover the okay. So now we've been able to successfully discover the Windows Server. Then let's close. I come to CMDB. We can see we have Windows servers. Yeah. So the Windows server has been automatically, you know, placed uh, under its category under Windows server. Then what we want to do is to just check some of the properties. So let's click on this. So let's check the performance else. Um, so 
so you can see under here we have uh, the properties version interfaces 11 uh, running applications then we have properties normal monitor wmi then um what about the edge check edge overview So device X is normal. We can see the DIX utilization services and all that. Let's scroll down. Okay. So we can have hardware interfaces. So we have you know number of interfaces on, on this server. This is actually my own lab server. Then we can also you know um one minute. Processors. I mean, no processors. We have two number of processors, storage three. So we have this number of storage on the server. Then configuration, no data yet. No agents on the device. We have running applications on this device. You can see the number of running applications that we have. And uh, we can also see installed patches as well. Yeah. <laughs> 